Statistics and Probability is brought to you by The Math Teacher. Exploring data is one of the significant domains of statistics which comprises the data collection activity. In statistical activities, facts are collected from respondents for purposes of getting cumulative information, but confidentiality should be protected. In the performance of the data collection activity, it is important that the needed information is provided to the best of their knowledge. Here are the objectives of the data collection activity. Recognize the importance of providing correct information in a data collection activity. Understand the issue of confidentiality of information in a data collection activity. Participate in a data collection activity. Contextualize data. And here are the information that should be provided. Class student number. This is the number that the teacher provided to the student at the start of the class. Sex. This is the student's biological sex and not their preferred gender. They have to choose one of the two choices by placing a check mark at the space provided before the choices. Number of siblings. This is the number of brothers and sisters that the student has in their nuclear or immediate family. This number excludes him or her in the count. If the student is the only child in the family, then he or she will report zero as his or her number of siblings. Weight in kilograms. This refers to the student's weight based on the student's knowledge. In case the student knows his or her weight in pounds, the value should be converted to kilograms by dividing the weight in pounds by a conversion factor of 2.2 pounds per kilogram. Height in centimeters. This refers to the student's height based on the student's knowledge. In case the student knows his or her height in inches, the value should be converted to centimeters by multiplying height in inches by a conversion factor of 2.54 centimeters per inch. Age of mother as of last birthday in years. This refers to the age of the student's mother in years as of her last birthday, thus this number should be reported in whole number. In case, the student's mother is dead or nowhere to be found, the student will provide the age as if the mother is alive or around. Usual daily allowance in school in pesos. This refers to the usual amount in pesos that the student is provided for when he or she goes to school in a weekday. Zero as response for this item may be provided, in case he or she has no monetary allowance per day. Usual daily food expenditures in pesos. This refers to the usual amount in pesos that the student spends for food including drinks in school per day. Zero as response for this item may be provided, in case he or she does not spend for food in school. Usual number of chat messages sent in a day. This refers to the usual number of chat messages that a student send in a day. Zero as response for this item may be provided, in case he or she does not have the gadget, to use to send a chat message, or simply he or she does not send chat messages. Most preferred color. The student is to choose a color that could be considered his most preferred among the given choices. The student could only choose one, by placing a check mark at the space provided, before the color he or she considers as his or her most preferred color among those given. Usual sleeping time. This refers to the usual sleeping time at night, during a typical weekday or school day. Note that the time is to be reported, using the military way of reporting the time, or the 24-hour clock, 00 midnight to 23.59 are the possible values to use. Happiness index for the day. The student has to respond, on how he or she feels at that time, using scales from 1 to 10. Scale 1 refers to the feeling that the student is very unhappy, while scale 10 refers to a feeling that the student is very happy, on the day when the data are being collected. For the data collection activity, the student must completely provide the necessary information as previously discussed, and likewise indicated in this student information sheet. The information that will be provided will be used for some future lessons in statistics and probability. After the information was gathered, contextualization of data is necessary. Data are facts and figures that are presented, collected, and analyzed. Data are either numeric or non-numeric and must be contextualized. To contextualize data, we must identify its six W's, or to put meaning on the data, we must know the following W's of the data, who, what, when, where, why, and how. Now let us answer these questions. Number 1, who provided the data? Number 2, what information was provided by the respondents? What is the unit of measurement used for each of the information provided? 
Number 3, when was the data collected? Number 4, where was the data collected? Number 5, why was the data collected? Number 6, how was the data collected? Number 7, how do we contextualize data? Number 8, why is contextualization of data necessary? And then, write the generalization about the data collection activity. Once the data are contextualized, there is now meaning to the collection of number and symbols, which may now look like the following. What's seen in the table below is just a small part of the data collected in the assigned activity. Now let's summarize. Providing correct information in a data collection activity is a responsibility of the respondent. Data confidentiality is important in data collection activity. Data to be collected must be clarified before the actual data collection. Data must be contextualized by answering the 6 W questions. Thank you. Please be reminded to keep on searching for good and useful information that may enhance your knowledge and decision-making skills.